and welcome back to your world today with Gander Snitch the Goblin. No logo, not going to worry about it. Uh, you might notice that um, the uh, the camera looks a little fuzzier right now. We, we realised what was going on with the other camera we were using, uh, why it had the streakiness. It was because I smashed it um, and tried to fix it with scotch tape and it was shooting through the scotch tape and it wasn't working out. So we're on a shoestring budget, which means we have no money whatsoever. So we're using a tablet instead. We're going to see how this works. So last episode, I reviewed jelly beans and I was told that wasn't exactly what people thought. There goes the camera. Look at it. It's slipping down. We'll see. Will it make it to the end? Um, we reviewed jelly beans. I'll just keep getting taller. We reviewed jelly beans. People said that wasn't what they meant with kid friendly. So I'm going a little more family friendly today. Uh, you're going to lose me. I've got to go fast. Going a little more family friendly today. I'm going to review a dice tower. Now, I will say that uh, I thought these things were dumb as debt originally. Um, why, why, I mean, just, just take the dice and roll them on the table, right? Well, then I started playing in a game where table space uh, is incredibly limited. And um, so I, I, we tried like with a little little box, but uh, there's just not, not enough room really with the inside the box. So this has got a small space at the bottom, but it's got all this space up here. So I said, you know what? I'll give a dice tower a try. See if that, see if that helps. I mean, it, it takes up a very small footprint on the table. See, put it right there. And this is how it works. You load your dice in the top and they come out the bottom and it's got some shelves in there so it, it bounces around a few times makes it random and it's still slipping this is this is not working but but we'll get through to the end and so anyway this particular dice tower is made out of plastic um it was purchased as a gift for me uh, and it's a fox tower model dice tower uh there's all sorts of of um of things like this that you can get. Some of them very expensive, made out of hardwoods. Um, some of them not so expensive. But uh, the nice thing is, like I said, you, I'm going to pick this up so you can see this action here. You put the dice in and they come out the bottom right there. See? So reset, maybe. Um, and, and it takes up no table space, almost. And you get a perfectly random result. I've got a 15, a 14, a 5, and a 60. I don't even know what I'm rolling for, but one thing I have learned about this is you've got to roll all your dice at the same time. Because if you roll one, it makes all that fun clacking sound. It's spinning around down there at the bottom. Comes out as 11. All right? That might be good. That might be bad. I don't know. You roll another dice, and it's a 5, but it knocked that first dice and messed up the result. Now it's on a on a 6, because the line's at the bottom. Um, so it's best to pick all your dice roll them at once. That way, if you get a critical hit or something, it um, it doesn't screw you up when you roll your next dice. If, you, if you've got a really jerk of a DM or, or whatever. So, dice towers, they don't suck. That's it. I'm out of here. If you like our videos, subscribe down below. You can also check out my books and other things on Amazon.com. Really, anywhere on the internet, just type in the word Gander Snitch. I'm the only one. See you later.